Hey everyone, I just want to give a quick FYI. As far as subscription goes, I'm finding that I'm being unsubscribed from channels that I watch on a daily and weekly basis. So something very weird is taking place again. While you're here, just take a look at the subscribe button. Does it show that you can subscribe? Then you've been unsubscribed. So just a heads up, everybody, please take a look at your status. And if you need to hit the bell so that you get a notification when my videos come up so that you don't get, I don't get lost in the mix if you want to keep watching my videos. Okay, that's everything. Now I'm going to get into the reading. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you leave. It does help my channel, but more importantly, it's going to help the other Librans to see the messages that they need to see because it circulates the video. I want to remind everyone that it is uh, a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you. So those of you that it doesn't resonate for completely, please take the messages that do resonate and leave the rest behind. I also want to thank everyone for all of your support, from your comments to your donations, purchasing the extended videos, just viewing this video, purchasing my decks of cards, whatever it is that you're doing to support me. I appreciate it, and I do thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, we're starting off with Motivation Manifesto. We're going to get three cards across here because they're going to be the main energy of this reading. Now, this reading is Spirit wanting you to know that you are definitely aligned right now, Libra, and you are about to get lucky, very lucky. Okay, Motivation Manifesto says, We gain power from again and again, allowing ourselves to choose the kind of recklessness that allows us to be vulnerable, genuine, and brave in pursuit of our dreams. I feel like you've been doing that, Libra, because this is about you being in alignment. So if you're in alignment and heading for luck, you've done this. You've been brave in pursuit of your dreams, and you are about to be rewarded for that. It's called karma. What you've been putting out, you're getting back. And it's good. It's all good. Okay, now we're going to get a Soul's Journey card for the second card. Now, if you because timing is different for everybody, okay? So some of you are at this place where you have already done the work and you, you have been brave and you've pursued your dreams and you've, you've been through the trenches. You've done the dark night of the soul moments, right? You're about to get lucky. Timing, because it being what it is, some of you aren't quite there yet, okay? So some of these cards that are saying, yeah, you've done this, you've been there, finished it, completed your aligned, you're headed for luck, you are almost there. Okay, so take that to mean that some of the cards here, and you're going to know because it's going to resonate for you, okay? There's going to be some things here for some of you that don't resonate. That's what you need to do in order to get completely aligned and have this good luck headed your way. Those are the things you need to do, okay? Okay. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And I just saw the timer on my uh, my camera, and it was three, three, three. <laughs> so you're definitely being guided. Definitely, that means your angels are by your side. They're guiding you. They're moving you forward. They're taking you to either be aligned for the great luck that's coming your way, or taking you to the luck. The, the manifestations that are about to hit you, okay? So know that if you aren't quite aligned, you'll know that this is you because you maybe have come into a challenge and that's what you're dealing with right now or you're about to, okay? But I'm going to continue to read this like you have already 
done what you needed to do and you're kind of where you need to be and you are now just in a non-action state and being moved to this good luck, okay? I am going to get a card from the Power of Surrender Oracle deck. This is going to be what you have surrendered, what you had to surrender to get into alignment. So like I said, if you're not in alignment quite yet, this is something you're going to want to surrender to, okay? Okay, what are we taking here? Ooh, you're getting two cards. Okay. So let's take them. Okay, let me put this back. Okay, so the first one you have, ooh, nice. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And that goes hand in hand with the 333 on the timer. Allow spirit to move you the way you need to move, the direction you need to move in. Now you have likely already been doing this, Libra, because you are aligned. Those of you that are aligned and headed for good luck, you've already done this. You've surrendered to spirit. So just continue to do that, okay? And the next card you have is surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow, including challenges I'm hearing. When you find yourself in a challenge, now you, Libra, if you're aligned, you've already done this, okay? You already are this person. Those of you that are not quite aligned yet, this is what you have to take a look at. If you're going through a challenge right now, be open to the magic of that challenge, what it's doing, where it's taking you, how it's growing you, right? There you go. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Your message is here. Now we're going to see where the luck comes in for you. I don't remember if I cut this, so I'm going to cut it again. Nope, Spirit wants me to shuffle again. Okay. And now I just looked at my clock and it's 1101, which is broken down to 111. That means have faith. All is turning out as it should, when it should. So just have faith, trust. Sit back in non-action and trust that everything is just going to be brought to you or you will be guided when to move forward and where to, to move forward to. Okay, this is because this is all about dreams coming true and manifestations and wishes and all that. I'm using the Star Tarot deck. Okay, and your first card out, Queen of Swords. This could be you, Libra, male or female. Okay, those of you that are in your feminine energy more so, this is likely you. But it's about cutting out what doesn't serve you. Ridding yourself of frustrations, angers, um, everything that, that on your path got in your way and blocked you from moving forward the way you wanted to move forward. You found a way around that or you found a way to rid it from your life. And that's why you're at this place right now where you are aligned and heading for good luck. Wow. And this is where you're headed. Ten of Cups. Total emotional fulfillment, Libra. Total. Like it doesn't get any better than this. Ten of Cups. There's no Eleven of Cups. <laughs> this is it. This is the height of happiness. This is bliss. This is love. Cups are emotion. But happy emotion. So you are well on your way to being fulfilled emotionally, Libra. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. This is equal give and take. This is, the message I'm getting with this for you is, this is about you being this buffalo down here. Strong, 
forceful. No, not forceful isn't the word. Um, this. This. Um, by choosing the kind of reckless, recklessness that allows you to be vulnerable, genuine, and brave. So recklessness, although the word itself, for me anyways, it makes me automatically think that it's, it's someone that's not vulnerable, not brave, not, well, maybe brave, but not genuine, just somebody that's reckless, but it's careful choice of that recklessness. And it's allowing you to be, it allows you and did, allow, well, it is still allowing you because that's where you're at. That's where you're at. You're in alignment, but it's, it's the strength of this guy and the fortitude and the determination to move forward. So the Six of Pentacles is reciprocation. This is, like I said, what you've put out is coming back. Now, this could be um, a loving relationship. You know, you put out a lot of love and it's about to come back. It's, it's everything you've put out, whether it be love, generosity, um, bravery, whatever you've been putting out, it's about to come back to you tenfold. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Okay. You've got emotional fulfillment and you've got your dreams coming true. This is wish fulfillment. This is emotional fulfillment. Not that that wouldn't be a dream come true. They're all over the place for you. Look at this, Libra. Look at this. Oh my goodness, because of what you went through, because you cut people out of your life, even though it hurt, because you ended relationships, even though it hurt, because you maybe moved to a new home, even though you liked where you were at and it made you sad to think about moving, it did grow you and it moved you, situated you into a place where you are now about to get seriously lucky <laughs> like seriously you've got wish fulfillment you've got emotional fulfillment reciprocity because of what you put out it is now time to come back and it is tenfold look at this oh my goodness bottom of the deck part of your overall energy is the devil do not allow yourself to waver don't be tempted to waver okay this is um, the devil can represent obsession, compulsion, uh, addiction, any kind of addiction. Okay. It's not just alcohol and drugs. It could be sex. It could be food. It could be, I don't know, spending money. But that is the overall energy. Okay. So for a lot of you, what I'm getting is this is what you cut out. It's what you moved past. It's what you've been through. And you came out the other side because you did cut yourself out of those situations. And now it's time for payback. Ooh, this feels amazing. Okay, let's get some Lightseer's cards. This is the Holographic Lightseer deck, tarot deck. Okay, on top of the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups, you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, you went through this. You moved through this. The Four of Cups is all about disappointment in, um, it's, it's not necessarily love, it's cups, so it's emotions. You've been through the emotional disappointments. You cut yourself out of those. You basically took charge of your life and you didn't allow you didn't allow this to, to pull you under like the devil does. You did not allow that. The disappointments, you turned them into emotional fulfillment by ridding yourself of those disappointments and not letting them pull you under. 
Ten of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you got the Eight of Wands. This is happy, happy, fast, forward, moving energy. Very fast forward. This is traveling. It's a trip. It could be, again, it could be a move at a distance. Something you've been wanting to do for a while and you finally did it. A, a trip you wanted to take and you're finally going to put yourself first and take that trip. <clears throat> or you did. And that's what got you to this place. That's what what made you rise up. This can also be communication, okay? And the fact that my, my throat is frogging up, and it has been in a lot of the readings lately, <clears throat> it can be about communication. Some of you, um, maybe you've been disappointed where, where relationships are concerned or situations because you didn't communicate your thoughts and feelings. And maybe you're where you're at in this first row because you did say it how it is. You did say it how you felt it. Because that would take us back to the vulnerability here and being genuine and being brave. Now, if you haven't, if you have somebody that you need to have a conversation with and you know you do, then you're not totally in alignment and you won't be until you have this, this conversation. Okay, but when you have that conversation, know that this sits on top of the Ten of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. It's going to take you to the Ten of Cups. And <clears throat> you're going to find out that whatever it is that you have to tell that person, it's reciprocated. So if you need to tell somebody how much you love them and care about them, it's coming back your way. Because that's what the Six of Pentacles represents. So you can even be aligned, but just have this one last thing to do. Because it is that you are about to get lucky. You are aligned and about to get lucky. So it could be that this situation is saying, when you're here, you are aligned and you are about to get lucky. Okay? I think you get what I'm saying with all this. The Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you've got the Ace of Wands. You are chasing after your passion. You're feeding your soul. This is a new beginning. It's a new you. It's a new way of moving forward. But it is following your passion. It's burning inside of you, whatever this is. Look at this. This flame is right about where her third eye is and goes up kind of past her crown. This is following the guidance, feeding your soul. That takes you to wish fulfillment desires coming true they're not just desires any longer they will be manifested okay let's get a couple of Gaia oracle cards Okay, on top of the Four of Cups and the Eight of Wands, you have Eternal Dance. Wow. Movement, Wheel of Life, Path of Least Resistance. That is what you're getting on or what you're on. If you've done all of this, you are on the right path. Like I said, you are aligned. This is the path you need to be on, the path of least resistance. It is taking you towards your destiny. And it's allowing you to move forward towards your destiny because it's the right path. Now it's right underneath the Ten of Cups. It is the path that's going to take you to a total emotional fulfillment. But it's about this disappointment, this emotional disappointment because you didn't have that conversation. So those of you that have had that conversation, you already know that it's taking you onto a different path. You are moving in a brand new direction directly toward emotional fulfillment. Now, or traveling, whatever this is for you, moving, traveling, whatever it is, okay? So Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, you have attachment, letting go, restriction, and fear. Yeah. 
when you're aligned, you cannot be aligned and moving towards your destiny if you have attachments, if you haven't let go, if you aren't allowing the guidance to come through, if you aren't following the guidance, if you aren't in the receptive mode of that guidance, it's going to cause restriction. It's going to cause resistance. And fear is the biggest one. So those of you that need to have this conversation or need to take this trip or, you know, whatever this is for you, moving past the fear and doing it is going to free you, completely free you and allow you to move towards your passion. Whatever it is that you're passionate about that you've been wanting, it's going to take you there. Okay, now we're going to get an Island Time Wellness card. I'm loving you reading, Libra. This is crazy. I have a Libra. Uh, my moon is in Libra. So, and I know, I can feel that this is partly for me too. Paradise. Yes, this is your outcome card, Libra. Wow. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. For some of you, this is about moving toward that one special person that maybe the fear, right? The fear stopped you from communicating, stopped you from moving toward them. It stopped you from being emotionally satisfied. You, you didn't believe it. Maybe you didn't believe it could be but you you have that communication or you make that trip and it gets you where you want to go and this is the outcome those of you that have not done some of this do it because this is where it's taking you this is directly underneath the eight of wands so you either need to make a trip move somewhere or have that conversation with somebody because it's going to take you exactly where you want to be. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's get a synchronicity oracle card for you. goodness I cannot make this up didn't I say I saw that on the clock and it means have faith everything that is that is meant to be is going to be everything is moving as it should when it should how it should because you've let go right paradise is attached to eternal dance and attachment so when you let go of these attachments and move past the fear you're going to be on the right path, moving towards your destiny, which is paradise, Libra. Have faith in spirit, the universe, and just be in that non-action state. Unless, like I said, you haven't done everything in, this, in the messages so far, right? If you have something you need to do, do it. And that will allow... It to be moved toward you or you the guidance to move toward it but just have faith that the universe is taking care of everything sorry libra but i i forgot to look at the bottom of this deck the light seers tarot deck is becomes part of your energy and i wish i had done it on camera because you're not going to believe this it's the devil it's a, it's the devil you've got the devil twice you have overcome some of you that are on path and you are headed for great luck, you have already overcome the devil many times over. But it's all about the temptation, the temptation to go down the wrong road. Okay, so anyways, now I'm going to head into the um, extended. Now, I want to talk to your guides and spirit to find out what it is. What more can you do to get this to happen as quickly and painful, painlessly as possible? We're going to ask what you can do, be, think, and or feel. 
to get past this attachment so that you can shift into this paradise. We're going to do that in the extended. Click on the title of this video. It'll drop down my description box. You'll find the listing of all the decks I've used there. And that's where the link to the extended will be. Those of you going over, I'll see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys. And I will see you next time.